Merry Mega Christmas! Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as the Mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Redmonds. Happy Holidays. A party then? I'll bring you leftovers. Nothing new, huh? Update 2. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prankster or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Lillen? Either way, some reports indicate that Lillen behavior has been rather unusual as of late, although we can only imagine the confusion they were going through. Not the first time. Let's not forget that something similar happened five years ago, when Lillum advancement was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. Will it happen again? Time will tell. Spooky. A bit, yeah. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? The ones without... Artificial intelligence, mind you. The King of the West, Khan... G.A. From the Western nation of Kanye Vania has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like the hottest girls on own. But is this show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator problematic? Those dictators from Venezuela or whatever, just do what they want. They don't give a shit! Mariana Zimmer, 35, pulled the augmented eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot though. If I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you can just make them from scratch to match your every needs more as we investigate? So many reasons. So many reasons. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kanye Vania went through dem demilitarization before. Yuru Yuri is the best show this season. If you weren't a fan of Yuri or Slice of Life shows already, then be prepared to join the Moe Church this season with the premiere of Yuru Yuri, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The pals at the popular Danger Slash You forum seem to be divided, however. This is such an obvious pandering. Remember when an anime was about women doing womanly things and beating the shit out of each other? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. I'm going to marry Shinatsu! Wake me up inside. You can catch YY every Friday on RSTV. Wanna watch it? Psh, anime is for nerds. Anime is great. Sit up, Jill. Mega Christmas is here! I'm way too used to Christmas, but the mega tradition here in Glitch City is mega comfy. I know it's an incredibly absurd name, and the holiday isn't any less crazy due to its origin. But I find it amazing how GC managed to replace the original festivities. Some places celebrate Christmas eating fried chicken, but here they outright changed the holiday. Anime is for nerds. You know... True. Well, it's not that different, considering they have the same dates, but still pretty cool. Whoop, gotta go, time to sign some books. Heart heart. Is it Mega Christmas or Mega Christmas? Don't know. Don't care. All right. Anything I got at the shop? We've bought almost everything. Damn. Interesting. Oh, let's go to work. Look at how cute our apartment is now, though. You know what, let's check out the Nano Camo app. We've barely looked at this. Uh, wait, actually, how do we... Uh, I forgot, how do we actually get the... About. Can four talk when it's at home. I The impression that I've gotten you know, because Forrest has had dialogue for the entire game. Um, but when we brought the boss home, remember, uh, it was it was implied that Jill is actually saying everything that Forrest is saying. That's why Forrest is in quotes. 
because Jill is saying all of this in his voice, um, which is a little quirky. All right, let's go to work. Sunday, December 25th. Good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Jill are in uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Jill? It's okay if you talk to your cat. If your cat talks back, maybe seek help. If you don't think cats talk back, you have never owned a cat. I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Ah, almost here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill. Greet her properly. Welcome to Valha- Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Shut up. It's become a reflex. Wait, Alma also came in her usual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Ribbed sweaters get a free pass. Why? Hmm. Silly question, never mind. Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The, the what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks uh, it looks like just a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it, press a button, and watch as it warms the food up, just like a microwave. It's an infomercial bobble, though. Uh, really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move, and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you've bought infomercial stuff, too. Haven't you? That's at the very least a good idea for guests. Well... Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? Ugh. Oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything, she just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous. You wish. You don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check on the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Back. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See? That's how you greet people. You shut it. I'll go help. I'll, I'll, um. Uh. I'll go help Sweater Pops. Something wrong? Not good with dogs. Oh. Alright. We're all here, so we can start. Yo, Anchorage. Alma? I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used these microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly, or burn that bitch. So, how long? 15 minutes or so? A bell will ring when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. Alright, let's play truth or dare. What? I'll pass. Games are for kids. I'm in! Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun, as long as, as long as that mutt stays away from me. Okay, whew. I'll make the time pass faster. I'll pat. You'll play. <sighs> oh, what? <laughs> All right then, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. After that, you finish, 
Or after you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said, Jill. Yes. You start. Pick someone. Oh, um. Let's see. Fuck. Choices. Actual choices. This is the most gameplay we've seen in this game so far. Um. God, I am so torn. I want to pick Boss because I fucking ship it. I ship it so hard. But I also want to pick Jillian because, of course, I do. He's like the only person that's still a mystery here for me. Fuck it. Okay then, Jill, what do you pick? Um, Truth. You picked Jillian. Who chose Truth? What's your last name? Dare. I pick Dare. Uh, try to make a sugar rush with your eyes closed. Alright. Mm. Beer. This is a beer. Well, it works, I think. My turn, right? Well... Me! Pick me! You, the dog. Come on! Dare! I dare you! No, I'm the one that dares you. Bring it on! Um, sit. Sir, yes, sir! You're not sitting. Sir, yes, sir! Whatever, you did it. Alright, you the blonde, pet me. Eh, whatever. Your hands are cold. Colder than your usual hands, I guess. Alright then, gel. I'll go with dare. Mmm, give me a shoulder massage. R really? Really? Okay. Uh, you're good at this. My grandpa taught me how years ago. How old were you when your grandpa died? Fourteen or so, if memory serves right. And he was... Sorry, need to use the bathroom. Nope. You don't get to make those jokes. Those jokes are not acceptable. That's a... Jill, um, what did the massage do exactly? It was a regular massage. I might have accidentally unclasped for a bra, though. It felt like something snapped. Well, just imagine the pressure the poor thing must be a subject to. You have a pretty triumphant look on your face, though. Wouldn't you? I wonder. If everyone's done talking about my bra, let's move on. I wonder how long until the food is done. Dana! Alright, boss, pick. Truth me. How did you get your arm? On second thought, dare me. Lift Jill by the neck of his shirt. Okay! Eh? Wah! Happy? I guess. Who cares? I didn't hear about your arm. I do! I do care! Alright, Jill. Now that I have you in this position, answer me. I didn't pick. You're in no position to pick. Now answer! Did you live in Scotland for two years? Scotland? No. I guess that rules out a couple of possibilities. Um, Chief? What? Oh, right, I'm still lifting you, sorry. Now she apologizes. I guess it's my turn. Hey, Alma, truth or dare? Hmm, dare. Oh, 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 I have a suggestion. You stay quiet. Fine. Hmm. How strong are those arms of yours? Still my muscles under them, so not very. Although, not having fleshy skin makes things easier. Wait, that's truth, not dare. I just wanted to make sure. I dare you to break this nut with your hands. Okay. Well, that was easy. 
Holy shit, girl, are you really into that? Huh? Asking a woman to break a nut in her hands and then watching her eat it, does that turn you on? Eh? Wait, wait, is this an actual thing that turns guys on? I need to know for professional reasons. Uh, you're a pervert, Gilbert. J wait, that was close this time. My turn then? There's, whoa, I'm getting mixed up with all the voices. My turn then? All right. Hey, Jill, Peck. Um, truth. Okay then, what's your most embarrassing childhood dream? Um, elaborate? For example, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a professional puzzle master. I guess in a way I accomplished that, but you understand. Uh, I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Huh? But when I was a child, I liked this show called Lucia's Fun House. The one with the woman in the house with the talking stuff? That one. My parents divorced when I was around six, I think. Mom was on tour with an orchestra, and my dad was working constantly. I spent a lot of time with my grandpa, but he slept a lot. I was on my own most of the time. I like to pretend things like chairs or beds could talk, and since AI wasn't so advanced back then... Anyway, I went to a magic show once, and there was this guy making a puppet talk. My dad told me he was a ventriloquist, so I kind of obsessed about wanting to be one. Even today, I'd be lying if I said that I don't think about it every now and then. So that's why you pretend fork and talk. She what? Nothing. I'm getting hungry. Dana! Hmm. Boss. I'll pick Dare. Can you lift me with just your non-mechanical arm? Hmm. Alright, you can, you can! Please put me down! Well then. Hey Jill, truth or dare? Can I really pick? Let's go with dare. Okay then. Please, cross your arms. Alright. Now turn a bit to the left. Uh. I mean my left. Oh! A bit more, and now stand still for a second. Boss, is that a picture? That it is. Nope, not even same race. Sorry for the trouble. You were comparing me to a pic? Yep. Can I at least see it? No. <sighs> Fine. A bell? It's ready. Finally. Let's go. You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Uh, ah, Alma. I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Uh, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday, but I just got a message that Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has helped keep my mind off things for a while. <sighs> it... Weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Katyusha, or one of the old literature maidens that, whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to war. I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I gotta go. Careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance and spend some time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back! Chat.
Chapter 3 Dolce Ooh. Achievement unlocked. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Jill wants to see if the Alex doll's beard actually grows. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Rent is due on the 30th. We need 10k. Oh shit. Okay. We've been using that hoodie a lot lately. Just shut up. That. Did we get that hoodie from Boss? I think we did. I'm gonna buy the figurine and maybe get evicted. Probably should have saved before doing that, but oh well. Let's save. Let's save in a second slot. I feel like we've read all three of these already. Alright. Uh. Model Warrior returns to TV. Anyone watching it? I don't even have a TV. So useless. Julianne is old and busted. I heard you talking shit about my waifu like I wouldn't find out. Is it going to be censored? I don't think so. The show was rather tame as far as I know. I'm going to marry Julianne. Oh man. I remember watching the show back when I was like 10. I think I discovered porn thanks to it. <laughs> you will never discover Rule 34 for the same for the first time again. Why keep trying? Never seen the show before. Is it any good or is it just a meme? It's a meme show, there's nothing outstanding. How about the sequels? Are those going to be broadcasted as well? The sequels are shit. Is your lip trembling? No. Is anyone into wrestling here? I became a huge fan of GSF very recently. It's a really solid product, IML. Much better than the E. I like the match quality, but I wish they gave more or they gave importance to the mid card. Are they still forcing 66 American Kid into the main event? Yep, he's going to face Yusuke at, at the Dome Show. Ugh, why don't they push the great DK instead? He's much more talented than 66. Because American Kid actually moves merch, unlike your indie darling. I want to marry Yusuke! Who's hyped for the women's championship? That one should be the main event, not the turd we're getting instead. C6 is pretty good, just watch some of his work in Japan. Everyone tells me 66 was better in Japan, but all I see is locks and arm bars, nothing that impressive. Wrestling is f Amazing how I know all the words, and yet I understand. Jill, you and me, the same. I understood very little of that. I have no, no ill will toward wrestling, I've just never been into it. But that's true of most, like, combat sports stuff. For me. I can't stop playing this game! Gorgeous graphics, innovative and addi addictive. Oh, we've already read this thread. Uh, hey! Glitch City Olympics return next year. For the 10th consecutive year, the GC Olympics returns to the emblematic Super Silver Thunderdome, this time with a representative from the elusive country of Kanyevania. Prime Minister Quincy, who is in charge of the committee, told the augmented eye that it wasn't getting uh, it wasn't easy getting in touch with Kanjai, and that we had to abide by some of his religious rules in order to see some of their best competitors come to the country. Kanye Vania's main religion, Kanyeism, prohibits the existence of nanomachines inside the body, and as such, competitors from said country had to perform specific treatments in order to repel the swarm. It's a temporary solution, but it will do the trick. I'm guessing tacky bodysuits weren't practical for sports. You wouldn't believe what happens in this cartoon. Cartoons are not for children. They're still largely colorful, but the themes they touch have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on air today has dark themes. It's come to the point where innocent animated characters are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now. But enter Touch Fluffy Tail. A new show that aims to change the current trend. No deep lore, no obscure adult references, no stupid deep plots, just fun with numbers and fluffy tales. 
said a TFT producer who's asked to remain anonymous to avoid internet backlash. I don't want death threats for making a cartoon for actual kids. <laughs> Stop. I rescued you. I touch your tail if I wanna. Um... I object... I object to the the idea that kids cannot handle deeper topics. It's all in how it is presented, how accessible you make it. If you rely heavily on metaphor, then you're gonna run into problems. But, kids can handle some deep shit. Honestly. And like, some of my favorite games to this day, um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, deal very heavily with some some complex and uh, deep topics. But like, if I were to pull those games up right now, and we were to play them, they're very clearly kids games. Like, I'm pretty sure they're rated E as well. Um, hold on, let me check. Yeah. And yes, I do have the cartridges for those games right next to me. Uh, so, the idea that it has to be that, that kids can only consume nothingness content is, in my opinion, false. Street race at the Motor City distri District leaves two dead. The Motor City District is notorious for the number of illegal street races it sees each week, and the dozens of injured drivers it leaves every year. This time, it has been reported that two people died during a race hosted at the Gate Highway, otherwise known as Death Lane. The Transit Police is currently investigating the deaths, as well as the underground world of illegal street racing. We have several suspects in regards to who is running this underworld, but nothing concrete as of yet, Chief of the Transit Police Department, J. Esposito, told the Augmented Eye. The death of these two youngsters will be the last, however, that's a promise. I've heard there's a defamation campaign against the district, though. Anything left to read? Nope. Alright. Save, and... Carry on. And I grew up watching Leiji Matsumoto anime. Can safely say that kids can handle heavy subjects. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's good. Personally. Like, I think it's good to introduce kids to complex and challenging subject matter early because it teaches them to grow comfortable with being challenged in that way. Um, and in my opinion, as someone who does not have an education degree or a psychology degree or a developmental psychology background, um, it is my opinion uh, that it is probably good for developing critical thinking. Monday, December 26th. Hey! <sighs> Evening. Hey, Jill. Jill's in the back sorting an ingredients shipment, and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay? Bye! What? Wait, the dog what? Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge, and I want you to pet me. <laughs> One of these songs is going a little too hard. I think it might be Neon. Yep. Does the dog actually talk? Yes, the dog actually talks. There are actually talking dogs. Game. There we go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey Jay! Won't pet you. They'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will. You call? He said Will, not Jill. Ah. Is his name Wilbur? His name is Wilbur. <laughs> How? 
It's cyberpunk, Soon Raccoon. They're probably uplifted dogs with, like, human-level intelligence and whatnot. <laughs> Who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will! Do you need me to psych you up, then? Shut up! Who? Me or Will? Ah! You go back to whatever you were doing. All right. And you stand by. Only if you pet me. Go. <sighs> the fuck just happened? Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Valha, Virgilio. Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with the bombastic soliloquy. A smart dog is less believable than a smart robot. Yeah, I mean, uplifted animals are not uncommon in in cyberpunk fiction. Uh, actually, I think I wonder if you Google uplift uplift animal. Yeah, if you look at uh, Wikipedia. There is a, a page called Uplift Science Fiction that talks about the uh, the trope. There's also a, a TV tropes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know. So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. Um. Helio wants a leading Jane. Bronson. Outer Delta. Planergive. Blended. I guess I wasn't sure if it was an uplifted dog robot dog or something else, especially because four doesn't seem to talk. Ah, yeah. Four, I think, is just a normal cat. So far, all of the dogs that we've met or heard about, though, have been, like, sentient. Or sapient? Forget the difference. I forget which one's which, rather. A bleeding Jane. Yes, this is just the thing. So, tired of putting on an act. Here to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? There's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're here. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself, but I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm homeless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... Huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Spicy! Well, he just had a bleeding Jane, so let's not give him that. Moonlight. So unnecessarily brown. Let's not go with that. Let's go with the Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, 
One, two, three, four, one, two, and day. Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with a passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Chell. I wanted to apologize. Huh? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior. And thank you with that. I did lash out. Don't worry. I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. Your client, after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sordid pasts. Jill, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? Just rambling. Pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was... avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh. Again. Again? In my time here, I have heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law, though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is a more active predator? I don't know. A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling too much to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm a sort of criminal though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Virgilio wants something bitter. He's liked blended drinks so far, so I'm gonna keep up with that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer? No, that's not it. It's like the bandaged girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's something really familiar about her. I feel like he was at the bank. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please, come again. Welcome to Valhalla! Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Oh. And here we are, another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gunt punch. Okay.
Here. Oh, you got it right. So, what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? Oh my goodness! Holy heck! Yara the Tank Girl, thank you for the raid! <laughs> Hashtag make a random person's day. Hell yeah, welcome! Welcome, raiders. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm <laughs> holy crap. There's a lot of y'all. Thank you, Star Hoarder, for the follow. Um, hi! I'm, I'm Dylan, aka Anarsis. Uh, I do streams of many different kinds. Right now we're doing video game streams. <laughs> now go forth and bartend and change lives. Hell yeah! That's the plan. Um, I, uh, I stream video games, uh, fairly regularly, more regularly nowadays, uh, and also role-playing games every once in a while. Right now, we're playing Valhalla, which, uh, as Fiora the Tank Girl points out, is a, uh, game in which we bartend and change lives. Um, I'm streaming every single day this month, so we're trying to get our way through Valhalla before moving on to other games. And now we continue. You look more like a Festivus kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And you know, Deepskate. If you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although, now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then come the Turbo Male Guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo Male? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa, thanks for, to the Redmond family. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. And then everyone, every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail? Yup. Hmm. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke! And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? Oh, no, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like those jerks who only ate, eat nuke and think they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Get me a fringe weaver, will you? Sure. Get him a fringe weaver. That's interesting. All right, aged. One Adeline. Double it. And just do shitload of karma tree until we're full. Mixed. Boom. Here. Right. Thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynchings of White Knight stopped, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor. I haven't gotten much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there, it's becoming even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went there in the first place? 
Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey, bartender, are you okay? Sorry, got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machine's tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. That the writer of The Last Rain in the World is actually living here as a brain in a jar. Those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold the one less piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then. Um... Bah... No, wait, she's out. Jill! You there? Yeah, taking your break? Let me know if someone comes in. All right. Onward. Things are pretty quiet outside. Jill! Ah, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Get Kim a beer. One, one, two. Uh, 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 two, three, four. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, and one. Mixed. Here. Thanks. So, how have you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out, my appetite is coming back. I hadn't realized just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, I got a hold of my own life. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartender training in January too. Huh. Really? Yeah, I did some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. All these people with seemingly terrible medical problems? Terrible medical problems? What? I mean, there's a whole situation of, like, uh, the nanomachine rejection, but I think in Kim's case it was just stress. Because, oh, if you haven't seen the early parts of this game... So, the whole playthrough, pretty much, up till now, is up on YouTube. If you have missed the beginning of this game, there is a character that shows up early on, who we fortunately, and he's gonna show up after I say this, he fortunately hasn't shown up in a long time. He's awful. He is a terrible human being. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, he was her boss. Uh, the other person with the scars and nightmares Oh, yeah, Say was in a hostage situation for, like, an entire day that most people did not survive. So, that's that's why she had the scars and the nightmares. Uh, the scars came from plummeting, like, some number of feet out of a window and almost dying. Is a thing. Things are very dramatic in Glitch City. <laughs> uh, did I read that? Yes. It'll give me time to think on the next course of action. A bit of advice. Don't go for the BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut in pay and tips. I was going to go for that one, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Nice that it gives you a scroll back of the convo. Yeah! I That is a big part of... I mean, this is this is essentially a visual novel. I think there are things about this that aren't visual novel, but in essence, this is a, a, a VN. And I think having a scroll back of the dialogue is a must for any visual novel. Well, I took the chance when the BTC found me an apartment, and instead of signing the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. 
apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms to employees. But in this city, the realty Nua holds an unspoken real estate mon monopoly. So BTC can't easily offer such promises. Oh. Realty Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around three or four new projects. And they're all expansions of their already established ones. It, you seem to know a lot about it. Well, I've just read a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all par for the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something. I don't know. Different? But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. Okay. Sugar rush. I feel like I've been serving them a lot lately. Yeah. So much karma train. Aged or anything? Nope, just mixed. Here you go. Yay! Actually, Jill, I came here today to thank you. Me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked, I was tired, I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention you helped me cool down. And your boss saved me. And... I don't know. I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Much appreciated, thanks. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit... off. I'm better now. Thanks a lot. Glad to hear it. It was weird to see you like that. I always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. It did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as a cool bartender act is what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but... Nah, I don't try to put up that act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. Disappointed? Surprised, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. Say, let's try something bubbly now. Alright. Get a bubbly drink. Frothy water. Get our fringe weaver. Here. Thanks. Hey, Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. Oh, boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you! Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive, I'm here! I avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. I don't know what overcame me. I just felt like, like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like, like, thank you. Don't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right. Jill, ice please. Right. Are you all right? Did you seek help? I know a couple of people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, but he says I'm okay. I just, something overcame me, but you intervened and I, I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. <sighs> I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you that at least. Don't worry. Just go out and be happy. You have a second chance, so use it as best as you can. 
I will. I'll be leaving. Uh, Happy New Year, Jill, and thank you again. Please come again. So, a couple of weeks ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl, catching her midair. Would you know something about that, boss? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? That voice. <gasps> The fucking hologram girl from the television. What the shit? Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. Uh. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Mm. Earth to Joe. I'm talking to you here. If I ignore her, she'll leave. I'm not an unfathomable fathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know. <sighs> Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Our last name is Stingray? What the fuck? That's so metal. Uh. Mm. Calm down. Don't fall for her taunts. How does she know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you legally remove the Natalie? Never mind that. Is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. Hard not to see them, actually. All right, that's it. I'm going crazy. Okay, so I guess she breaks the fourth wall. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you just can't explain. Just because only you experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledged me. Shit. That's good. I want... I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I'm gonna buy some curry with that money I had to put up for those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look... angry. I I'm fine. Good job out there. I am back. Ah, boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least I drank that has has is, has the bottles. Are you okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. They really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. Why? Just why? To annoy people, of course. Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it, because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats, after all. It's uncannily right, not all that wrong, and they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see it, though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there, you okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here. Who stays where? Crap, did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. I, um, I thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure. Thanks for taking care of Fort. Or, of the Fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. It's not what I... Whatever. Here's something in case you felt lonely today. God, our boss is so nice to us. It really is... 
unfair. Like, Dana is the boss. Everyone deserves a boss like Dana. Like, completely remove the the romantic coloring of that relationship between Jill and Dana. Just Dana as a person and how nice she is to the people around her. If you're a boss, you should strive to be that person. And if you have a boss, I hope they're like Dana. Rent is due on the 30th, and we're broke. Uh, Jill just watched Night of the Id Snacker- or ID Snatchers. Buying a poster of it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Wait. Is... Is she the distraction? Have I been, like, skipping content by buying stuff? I don't- I don't know what that is! Ah! The chances of me doing a second playthrough of this off-stream, pretty high. There are cats in, in heat outside. I'd have blue balls if I still had any. We haven't read this one. It's finally here! I can't believe I'm alive for this day. Thank you, based gods. All boards report in. What other boards, you idiot? Nice. More stupid moe blobs. YY gets new season, but the actual best YY is still up in the air. My internet service gets cut off tomorrow because I can't afford it anymore. Wake me up! I got a job, you stupid neat. Oh god, here we go. Prayer hot cocoa, sit in comfy couch, put on my favorite mega Christmas sweater, see a snow falling outside, turn on the heater, get my blanket, watch glorious YY, and fall asleep when it ends. I am the comfy. I wish I was as comfy. Have work tomorrow. Enjoy the Yurus for me, Danger You. Sounds cute. For nerds, maybe. Why are you hating on anime so much, Jill? Come on. One second. Okay. Biker gang arrested after vandalism during protests. The members of one of the largest biker gangs in, the Mo in Motor City sorry, in the Motor City sector, were arrested after the group's leader and her entourage were found at the site of a protest last Friday. Their leader, commonly known in the streets as Christine Love, declared to the press that they were unjustly arrested and that her gang was only there to defend protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us. They know they can't take us down on the streets, so they used protesters as a shield. We had no option but to surrender, Love told AE during a phone conversation. They're currently detained and waiting for trial. Isle. The formal charges are unknown so far. Isn't she the game de uh, a game developer? She's many things. Parliament discusses anime influence. During an unusual meeting held at Parliament today, delegates discussed the effect of anime on the population. It's nothing but filth. Trash! A representative for the Workers' Party yelled during the meeting. If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. I'd choke them with my own hands. Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money into the local market, Yama K, a producer, told the augmented eye during a phone interview. I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Ah yes, important topics and all. Taylor the Brain, tired of name change requests. A couple of weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains from the Sola Anima project. One of the highlights from the interview that was unfortunately stripped from the finished version was a stray comment about how many people asked Taylor to change their name to Brian on a regular basis. Uh, I think I did a robot voice for Taylor. I know people try to be funny, but I won't change my name for a punchline, Taylor told the AE team. I like the name Taylor. There's nothing wrong, uh, and there's nothing wrong with Brian. I just won't be part of the joke. My life is worth more than that. Taylor is currently looking at their chances at becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. Taylor! Alright. Let's save. 